Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask in the world. Today we are once again testing user submissions. Thank you all for sending your masks to me. I've got a ton to get through, but specifically, I want to thank Daniel. Daniel, thank you so much. Got your letter, and I will read your letter really quickly. My name is Daniel. I firstly would like to thank you for testing the efficiency of various masks currently on the market. I'm dramatically reading this, by the way. You provide a valuable source of information that helps to protect the public and our loved ones. Wow, Daniel, you're a great writer, especially when you're praising me. Like anybody who's praising me is a great writer. We recently purchased four dozen 3M9210, also known as the gold standard Aura masks from a seller on eBay. The 9210 model incorporates safeguard product authentication, which allows the end user to validate the authenticity of 3M products by submitting a pair of codes on the 3M website. The masks were sent to us individually wrapped with only the lot code, rut row, uh, printed on the inner fold of the mask. The seller has been sketchy about providing the secure code, sellers, making it impossible to validate their authenticity. We also noticed that the plastic packaging and the printing on the front of the mask do not seem quite right compared to a batch of authenticated 3Ms 9210s that we have on hand. This guy is a 3M 9210 expert, isn't he? My wife is currently pregnant and unvaccinated due to a pre-existing condition. Sorry to hear that. We intend to use these masks to protect ourselves uh, and visiting family and once our baby arrives next month, so it's really important to us to know if these masks are real or counterfeit. Could you please kindly test the efficiency on the sample and post the results on your YouTube channel? Why, yes, Daniel, I can and I will. And sorry it's taken so long. We've been uh, certifying our lab here, so I haven't been able to, to get to it. But um, this does look uh, kind of like the 3M, but uh, actually, I'm going to say it's probably a fake uh, just by looking at some of the details. Now, we actually have tested 3M Aura before from another user submission. Uh, we had uh, an eight-year-old write in uh, to test it, um, and uh, it may, that may have been a fa fake, but... It, it, it had the highest test uh, score that we ever had, which is 100%. Now, I wasn't being fair because I was using the surgical mask test, which is slightly different. And if you want to find out how it's different, you can check out this link here. I'm going to show you. We have now set up this rig uh, to test uh, for N95s. And so we're going to do that in just a second. But before we do that, because I only have one mask here, that I only have one mask here that I, I can test, I do want to point out a couple of things. 3M is all about quality control. And you can tell by the way that the packaging was cut here and here that this did not go through quality control. Another thing is in the way that this is cut on the back, the way that the, this is made by something called a, uh, uh, a horizontal form fill packing machine or a flow wrapper. And um, I just don't believe 3M would let this out of the door looking so shoddy. I mean, that's, that's I mean, so maybe what this could be is, is an authentic 3M, but, um, that authentic 3M, these were like, uh, you know, ones that they were going to throw away because they were packed incorrectly and someone stole them off the line. The other thing that is weird is the color of the straps. I think I'm used to those being a darker color, but I, I could be wrong on that. So I'm pretty excited to test this thing. Let's open her up. does have the right, uh, uh, 3M has this really custom, cool uh, nose foam on the top there. And so it does have that. And it has like a really, really nice uh, aluminum nose wire, nose band. All right, so I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put this in our test. I've said this before. This is not the official way that NIOSH would do this test uh, using a, uh, a TSI machine. Um, this is just so I can do it faster and so I don't have to get my hands all sticky with beeswax, which I don't like. This is, look at that, done. I'm ready to test. It's so fast, so efficient. All right, I'm gonna put this in the clamp and we will let it rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you wanna find out more about how this setup differs from our surgical masks, check out that link up there. All right, so we're just gonna do this live here, folks. I don't have any masks to play with. I don't have websites to go to. I will say this one thing. Uh, that 3M does uh, before we really jump into it. So this this uh, authentication system that they have, even if your mask passes that authentication system, they're going to ask you who the distributor was. And 3M is a list of distributors that they use. 
And if you have purchased uh, one of their masks, like the Aura, from someone who is not an authorized distributor, which they would not be on eBay, I can tell you that right now, um, then they're gonna say that it's a fake. So I've, I've come across legit, legit from 3M uh, masks and, uh, and 3M still said that they're a counterfeit because they, they want you to buy it through their distributors only. All right, so let's go back to the machine here. And again, we're just gonna do this live. I don't have anything else to show you. So this is a two minute test. Uh, again, NIOSH test is different. They're gonna do this for 20 minutes, but look, I got, I got places to be, right? I can't just, I can't do tests all day for you guys. Come on. Uh, first thing I'm gonna notice is that like, dang, look at that airflow. That's awesome. The airflow resistance, 100 Pascals, beautiful. That's a breathable mask. That's like one of the most breathable masks that we've had in this machine. And look, look at that efficiency. 99.93, wow, that's really good. I mean, I saw some things on there that said that this wasn't maybe real, but I'll tell you what, if it's not real, it's a good fake. What I think it is, is again, I think it's something, just by the way the packaging was kind of messed up, I think it's probably a real mask. Uh, and what they did was they, they, made a bunch of those things in their flow wrapper and uh, it didn't meet, it's what we call, a, in, what NIOSH would call a non-conforming product. So basically it's something that they rejected because they, as not sellable. And then somebody, probably someone who just worked on the factory floor, I know that um, these are now assembled in the United States. It's the only mask that 3M is making in the US. They're hiring like crazy. It's probably somebody new on the scene. Uh, maybe they're a janitor or something, and they're like, they see all of these non-conforming products in a bin, um, and they're like, they're going to throw them away anyways. I might as well sell it to somebody who can sell it on eBay or something. But I, I, I do think, and we'll go back to it again, I do think it is going to protect you. That's my personal opinion, because 99.929, that's pretty good. So maybe not an official 3M mask, but it's going to do the job. All right, Daniel. Thank you so much for sending this in, for typing up that beautiful letter. Really appreciate you. Um, uh, I hope you enjoyed the test. I hope your wife has a, has a good pregnancy. My wife uh, was, was due um, last year in, in May, and it was like right when COVID was getting crazy, and like it was very, very scary, and that was before the vaccine, so I can tell you that like uh, my heart goes out to you for that, and I hope the pregnancy goes really well. Thanks so much for sending it in, and uh, if you're joining and you have a mask you want me to test, send it in. Uh, got my machine back, my lab is ready to go and I'm ready to test your mask. So I'll put my address below and you can send me those masks. Thanks so much and I will catch you on the next test.